Hello everybody and welcome. It's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Uh, lovely to see you all back again. I'm just doing a clean up, I hope, of all the um, Tatty Treasures and Friends Facebook challenge for the um, is it Woodland Friend? Woodland Wonder. Woodland Wonder. So um, I've pulled out of the folder all the bits that I've got left that were specifically for the woodland. Um, one or two bits have gone back into other folders because I pulled them out. But these are all kind of the woodland things that are left and I want to, to use up. Um, so this should be the last video for the challenge because it's very nearly September. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna get these bits used. If I don't get them used, I'm gonna do another video straight after and use them all up. So there might be two videos, there might not or I might hitch it onto another part of another video, the using it up video, but um, I really want to get through these so I'm not adding anything into scraps box or another folder sitting around with, you know, um, kit things in that I didn't finish. So what have I got then? So I've got a few fussy cuts from, this is the Shabby Dabby Doodah Woodland kit that I was using alongside. Uh, Nanine's Botanical Woodland Kit and the add-on that we got free from Tanya at Tatty Treasures for her um, 5,000 subbies giveaway. I've got a few little animals and birds, some of them from the kit, one or two are birds and things that I've got but I, want to, I don't want to put them back in again, I want to use them somewhere, not sure where yet, I haven't got a clue. I have got um, some bits of card I think that I collected so that's just a small piece and obviously these can be tags and things yeah it's for journal three journal cards that feels thick and that I oh, know three journal cards that just need a bit of embellishment so a couple of tags a couple of journal cards um a couple of pockets that are from another kit but I want to use them I pulled them for this and the colour goes so a couple of pockets an envelope um that came in happy mail from Tanya at Tatty Treasure. I think I've made that smaller as well uh, to do something with. And just a few of them, so just some little bits, but I don't want them to go in the scrap, I want to use them up. So they're like the cardy uh, type things. Then I've got all these pieces that are paper. Okay, so some of the um, some of the kit I printed on paper and it's not what, you know, I didn't need it on paper, I needed it on card. Um, that, that piece isn't from the kit, but we might as well use it. This is all paper. Yeah, so they look like those journal cards. They are those journal cards, but they're paper. And I have got a little bit of an idea that I might, my favourite paper, I might do try with those and see how it goes. And then I've got, well, that's probably a piece of paper as well, isn't it? This is paper, but it's a bigger piece. It's the um, wild dog, I think. This is um, two of the big pages from the kit. Um, printed two to a page so that they come out smaller um, they make good journal cards I might just back those and have them as journal cards but they're big for my might have to trim them down a bit they'll be big journal cards for the type of journals I make unless I put them in the giveaway drawer that's a possibility isn't it I mean he could be a journal card as well couldn't he and then I've got just a page of the paper left with no backing on it. So what I was thinking was of these was um, sort of collage, collage, um, not ripping them or tearing them, le leaving them all in their square. I mean, obviously that needs the white off it, but putting them down as squares. Now I have seen, I haven't watched any videos yet, but I have seen a couple of advertised videos um, for like mosaic kind of collage pages. So I thought, you know, just putting them, putting them up against each other and putting them on a nice backing. And I wondered if they'd go on, not the fishy piece that you can see, because you probably know like, this has been around on my desk a while. I've been using it to, you know, as a background to show things, etc. So it'd be nice to get this used up as well. Obviously, there's a lot of papers here. It's going to do more than one, isn't it? But I'm thinking, I mean, that one's partly collaged anyway, so it could go down. You know trimmed and go down as a square um, let's just start let's just start and put a few bits down and see where we go with it so I have got out the purple glue which I'm going to use up and that's the Elmer's 
and I've got one of these so we'll do it onto the back of this and back of that so this is that craft card crafters companion craft card um, and then we'll see where we go from there so I've got a blue book and my scissors and my way you can see oh things are falling so they're piles that I've made to make room on my desk to craft and when I've done this I'm going to heap them all back on my desk and go through them and put them away file them whatever so my job's only just starting here with this yeah so I'm thinking I'm going to put I was thinking of cutting them up and making smaller pieces I think just for speed I'm going to put them down as big pieces because obviously if they're you know similar to a master board right I want that on the fishy side don't I um you know they're going to be cut up anyway aren't they and I'm not going to ink so I'm assuming because they're calling it mosaic hmm yeah now that's the point I'm assuming they're leaving a gap between so maybe that is why I had it that way round them although mosaic work can be but butted right up can't it let's just play shall we let's do one butting them right up and then we'll maybe do a smaller one. Oh, this is very purple I'd forgotten how purple it was this Elmer's glue it's purple till it dries and then uh, I think it's a way of knowing if, if you've got glue where you should have and when it's dry and when it's not but it's a bit tricky do I have a cloth around here would you believe it yes you would wouldn't you I don't it's gonna have to be a hands job right so this one we'll do um, I think that's what I was saying we'll do this one kind of butted up to it each piece connected and then uh, we'll do a couple oh, wasn't very clever with my glue page there was I right in the middle of it for one piece yeah, then we'll do a couple of small ones, uh, perhaps leaving some gaps. Or maybe this uh, craft card one, leaving some gaps and see if we like that mosaic look. Or maybe we could do it on that piece of paper that's left the actual, because it is like a backing paper or a background paper. Yeah, I might have a go on that, which is similar. You can see when I've got the glow on the front now, look, similar to... Uh, Nanine's actual work isn't it because hers is collaged on her own paper that might even be upside down I don't know that's not really butted up Denise you left a gap you weren't thinking about what you was doing there and it's it's down and glued we can put that one across can't we so let's get one on here right let's go for some biggish pieces so you can see these were also the big pages shrunk down I mean collaged pages are good for collaging I've said that several times to you I'm sure um, and I've heard other people say it as well you know if you're collaging and you start with collage sheets you know your jobs I would say a third done for you because you've got colours that you know go together together gosh well I don't think I'll have be long going through this glue the amount I have to put on I've tried putting less on but it um, the purple disappears straight away so in my mind that means it's dry I guess I don't know yeah I might have to overlap them anyway because they're not cut very square are they so I guess this is just another collaging <laughs> video really but it's not it is a using up your bits video um, it's got to be done I'm afraid otherwise you know one day I won't be coming on and filming because I'll just be buried under a mound of stuff never to be heard from in the craft community again um, what do we want? Oh, well, that's a nice one but we want something a bit so yeah they are better overlapping I think I'm not sure I like the idea of the mosaic probably better in smaller pieces or like I say if you've cut them up on a or for me anyway if I've cut them up on the uh, guillotine so 
they're like proper edges otherwise I'm not quite sure how I'll do it so I'm just making this like a wild a wild masterboard and getting through some of these papers let's have a lighter one down here or up there yep up there so I'm going to get through a lot of book pages here with my glue but and they are going in the bin when I've glued on them, I'm afraid, because I have now got a lot of books that are only good enough for gluing on. Um, and if I save them all for tags, I would never, ever get them made. Ever. So I'm at the point now where I have to start letting things go for my own sanity and the sake of oxygen. <laughs> So I'm going to have a really big push now on using stuff up and sorting it as I, you know, print it and it's the project's finished. Let's have this one down here. And that way, uh, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to get a piece of paper that's not gluey, but use the paper up as much as I can. Um, yeah, try and get a little bit more organised. I mean, I was at one point organised. Um, I made the scrap journal, which I need to do a flip through with you. That made, took a lot out of the scrap box, etc. But, you know, in getting organised, what I've, what I've done, instead of just putting everything in the scrap box, is kept it in files and folders and things like that. And that hasn't really helped the issue. All it's done is spread the stuff that I've got into different places which isn't really what I was trying to do. That piece across there. What are we thinking? Is it a bit OTT? It's, um, it's very full on, isn't it? It's not going to need any... Yeah, I'm wondering if it would make a journal cover. If it had something in the middle that was just a bit plainer. That's quite nice, isn't it? I'm not trying to hide all the lovely papers, just tone them down a little bit. Right, I'm going to make this into a journal cover. How about that? So it don't, won't matter now how thick it is. And obviously it'll have lace and things like that on it, perhaps. Or Yeah, I think that'll be nice on the front of a journal. Um, and I have actually got lots of pages of... Um, book pages of woodland stuff so trees animals yeah so I'll make this into a journal cover and we'll I'll make it into a journal once I finish the flower fairies another woodland journal sort of I probably could have done with inking down the side never mind Yep, so I'll go on with the full-on look, I think, <laughs> and do the same on this, which will be the back cover, a big central piece that kind of tones the middle of it down. And then um, I haven't quite finished filling the second Woodland Journal yet. I will have soon. And then it can go up on Etsy. I have just listed the first one on Etsy. Um, but when that's finished there may be some bits and pieces left over ephemera that's a nice piece um, which would also go in this journal so like a clean it up journal I guess yeah and if I do the same on this it could be the inside page well you didn't see what I attached did you yeah, so if I do the same on the back of this as well. Hmm. Or maybe that. Don't know. We'll leave those thoughts for a minute <laughs> about the inside. Let's get the outside done. Yeah, so I'll let it dry and I'll stitch around it. Where was I going there? 
little but nice butterfly look. Never mind. We can always pop a butterfly on it, can't we? Yeah, I'm getting sticky. Getting sticky. Well, they stand out quite well on it because they're a different colour. See, my pile's not really gone down that much, has it? Oh, we definitely need those on it. Yes, those daisies, beautiful daisies. They're on quite thick paper as well. Um, yeah, so those journal cards that I've got spare there as well. We'll put some embellishments on those and sew them at the same time. Oop. So I think I mentioned to you a couple of videos ago that I'm heading towards my 300 subby giveaway. I'm only a couple away now. I have to make sure I'm over the 300 though because I, I have been up to 299 and dropped down again. It keeps happening up and down, up and down. I've seen other YouTubers saying the same thing. Um, I'm not sure if it is the people, the subscribers or YouTube doing something with the numbers. I don't know. It's beyond me. But um, yeah, so I don't want to say I've got 300 when I haven't. Actually that, I not even made that as a spine. Of course that pussy kept up there and I don't want to. I'm sure she cut that as a spine. And um, to the actual kit. That's a nice light coloured one, isn't it? B. She has a B up there. Yep. Am I in view? Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so, but it, you know, it's by this time next week, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident. I hope. Shouldn't take it for granted, but um, that I'll be there. And uh, I am going to put a couple of sets together of ephemera which will also help me out <laughs> um, room wise and I hope well of course you know if you don't want to you don't have to um, what's the word I'm looking for enroll <laughs> register you don't have to register for it I understand not everybody wants uh, other people's ephemera when they when they make their own but um, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll put a couple of packs. Um, and I was thinking about, um, because it's so expensive to uh, post abroad. Um, I know there, I've seen a lot of people who don't, don't post abroad when they do the giveaways. I'm not going to do, I don't think that's fair. Well, I don't like it, let's put it like that. Um, obviously money is a big issue, isn't it? But you know i want to give you all a chance abroad but i'm thinking if i do two prizes i might um i mean i'm only thinking out loud at the minute i would have to know where you were in the world but i could do like two little pots separate you into uk and abroad and pull one from each so that you know i know i'm sending one abroad which is Um, it's quite expensive, but a lot of my subbies are abroad, so, you know, it's a reward for being a subby after all. Um, and then, you know, to allow me to do two instead of one, because I'd like to um, do one in the UK, which, you know, the difference in the postage is just crazy. Well, I suppose it's not. I mean, I appreciate how expensive it is to put... <laughs> things on aeroplanes and sort them at the other end and all that kind of thing but it's kind of crazy money wise what we're going in there with them there's always a problem with the last little bit isn't there I've got another one of those can we just put a bit of it in uh, I'm going to start hiccuping now, sorry. Yeah, let's do it in a straight line. 
I'm dropping bits everywhere. Hiccup again, I do beg your pardon. Oh. It is heading towards tea time now, I have to say. Yeah, and I really don't think I'm going to get all of these bits wiped up. Right, I will come back and look at that, but I like it more now than I did when I was halfway through it already. It's going to curl up as it dries. So I'm thinking I could back this and the big. Let's do this one first. I'm just going to keep putting them down because uh, even if I end up with three or four really big, you know, MasterCard type things, that's still better than a file folder full of bits and pieces. Yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so I could add one of these into one of the pieces of, uh, or one into each of the prizes for the subby giveaway. Um, it'd be quite nice to receive a, a masterboard from someone else and do your, your thing on it. I, uh, I think I've seen people suggesting masterboard swaps on YouTube, so. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to try and uh, mosaic it. I need to have a little practice and I think about that before I just sit down and do it. Oh, have I saved all the animals? Is this just going to be full of animals? Try and spread them out a bit. Oh, that's not fit on there either way. So, um, yeah, because I'm about to start, well, I have started my flower fairy, but about to get into it big style my two flower fairy journals i kind of want all the i want all the uh, boxes empty that i store things in and uh, you know the files and what have you so that i can store all the current things in them so i can fill them basically with flower fairies and then do the same thing at the end when i've done finished the two journals have a clean up of all the, uh, the leftovers I mean, some of them will go in file folders and, and go away because the flower fairies will always be with me in some way, shape or form. So, but they do need to be organised, sorted and, um, you know, away. They're lovely colours on that, aren't they? And there is a muted side on the back, but we'll go for the pretty. So I don't even know if you can see me glue in here, can you? You can't. You're even missing the fun of all the purple. Can you see any of that? You can a bit, can't you? It's interesting for the first two or three. <laughs> Unless you like watch, watching glue in. Uh, it's not my favourite thing in the world, watching people glue. I think I've said before recently, I don't mind watching people cut things to some degree. Um, but gluing's not my favourite thing to watch. Although most people are pretty quick with it. There's a big expanse there, and we will put that over there. I'm being uh, naughty with my pages again. I'm just gluing in the middle. I need to do better. Now you see five or six pieces of this and the page is filled. But I guess if I'm doing I think the other one probably had six or seven. If I'm doing three, that's between 15 and 20 pieces wiped up, isn't it? Oh. Oops, why did I say I was going? Right. Might get another one glued on that. Let's see, one of these little ones. I don't know if we want him up there again. That's really nice. Yeah, up there I think. So it does just fit on here. So we've had a lovely day here today. The sun's uh, been shining bright and hot. Been a lovely August day finally because I've just come back from the caravan a few days away at the caravan 
Um, if you're with me regularly, you'll know we've got a caravan on the East Yorkshire coast. And um, yeah, we had, seems to be every time we go, wind and rain. I mean, we had some sunshine. And I do like to sit and look at the sea when it's rainy and windy. It was, it was lovely. But, uh, you know, we're not used to it so much in August at the caravan. They're lovely, these journal cards, aren't they? I don't want to just use all the journal cards on here, though. What else have we got? We've got lots of animals on it. Um, I've got some little pieces. Oh, I've got this butterfly. Let's have the butterfly on. <clears throat> and then we can use some of the little pieces to fill the gaps in. You can see how I'm squashing the glue all over. So not only can you tell when the glue's wet with the purple, you can see how badly I abuse it as well. But I don't know if you remember, it didn't stick too well in places last time I used it. So just go in the middle here. Yeah. And then I'll go to the bottom. It is disappearing though, that purple as it dries, but. Yeah, so I'm putting a lot on hoping that I'm not going to have that problem again. I am very sticky now. Will you fit down there? You will. And you're a different green, so you'll do. Yep, yeah, so that's two done. If I get these three done and a couple of journal cards, I'll be well very pleased because they'll all be things not going back. Well, nothing's going back in the folder, let's put it like that. They'll be going in the scrap box. And, a you know, I don't mind a couple of pieces from the kit in the scrap box, so, you know, it's nice to have um, interesting scraps when you're looking for them. But I don't want... So we've got this. Shall we chop that up? Because we're not going to use it in a hole, are we? Yeah, it's nice to have a few different ones. As long as it is only a few. So, like I say, this is for the uh, the group the group challenge over on Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook group. So, if you're not if you're not a member over there, um, you could pop over and see what everybody's up to. You can have a go yourself. There is always a little prize at the end um, of each. of each challenge and I think all you have to do is um I nearly inked that then but just cut it off. Yeah produce four pieces of something, whatever the challenge might be. So in this case it was a woodland wander, what you might see on a woodland wander. Um and post the pictures in Facebook or if you can't send them to Tanya at Tatty Treasure YouTube and she'll post them for you and then um, she does a draw and each month somebody wins a little bit of something um, so last month was a bit of something from Tanya and Karen at Junk Box Journals I don't know what <laughs> and this month it will be something from me and Tanya so Tanya's already sent me something wrapped up. I don't know what it is. I won't know until you get it and open it and either tell me or not. And I will be adding something to it as well. Just a little bit of something, just to say. Thank you for joining in with us. It's all good fun. I mean, you, you can post your, your uh, pictures and not join in with a challenge. We're always happy to see. We love to see, actually, other people's. Um, work when they're using similar things or a similar theme. I think we all do. Um, I personally, I'm sure others are too, but I personally learn so much when I see people, you know, using the same stuff as me in ways I, you know, never even dawned on me, never came to me. I see things and think, oh, that's nice. Why didn't I think of that? That's brilliant. <laughs> So we're learning as well as enjoying and having fun and, you know, connecting, making friends. 
sometimes it's nice to chat to people uh, who, who understand the strangeness of <laughs> us junk journalists, the things we collect and the things we're excited about. For example, my little tatty bit of sellotape that I shared in the last video. You know, I have friends that aren't crafters who just don't get it. <laughs> who would think I was nutty if I started having excited conversations with them about pieces of sellotape and junk mail. I've shut my uh, French window, patio door, I never know what to call it, anyway, <laughs> my door just so that the noise doesn't come in from outside because it's such a beautiful, well, afternoon, tea time. But I'm really hot, so if you can hear me panting, <laughs> it's because I'm hot and I need some oxygen. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't slide around so well on this card. I don't know why I've done it on the back and left that. I just love that pretty pattern on it, so nice for journaling on so yeah I don't, I'm working hard as well with the uh, gluing <laughs> all the effort that I put in right let's regroup because yes I've got stuff everywhere I, I think we're getting bad for it at the minute okay so that's not necessarily from the kit let's have all the fancy kit bits that's paper that's not from the kit that's not that's card right so this is all the bits left from that paper stack that I started with, so that's pretty good. I'm going to put this down, but obviously it needs something in the middle of it, as does this one. Um, I can go up there with that one, actually. Yep. Oh, you'll have to excuse me if I keep hiccuping. I should have made myself a cup of tea, shouldn't I? So this video should be back up at its normal time uh, when you see it. Yesterday's video, um, I came home late from the caravan and uh, with every intention of uploading the video in a minute, in a minute, in a minute, <laughs> until I got to the point where I'll, I'll do it tomorrow and put it up late. And then I was mad with myself this morning, but I hadn't done it. Hmm. Even you're not one. Well, right, you are. And you're from the kit. Excellent. It is actually on thick paper, that, but it'll do. I mean, if these end up being cut up for journal cards, they'll be having uh, thicker paper embellishments on them, no doubt. Whether I do it or you do it. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I did that right in the middle of a page again. I am just uh, all over the place today, aren't I? I think it's because I have let the... Uh, and I like working with all my junk around me. But I've let it get out of hand a little bit. And I've got tidying it up on my mind, I think. This is making me happy. Just uh, whizzing through them. So thank you so much for staying with me while I do it. Uh, it makes it even nicer when you're talking to somebody because I know you're listening I know I'm getting I'm getting views so it's not like I'm sat here talking to myself which I used to feel like when I first started just trying to keep those two separate a little bit let's cut the white off this so it's ready to go it's um, very quick, not, not inking every piece, isn't it? To get three pieces done like that. That quickly. Like I say, they're full on, but... Uh, not as clashy as I thought, first thought. I think you're going to have to go down here. 
Oh, perhaps not at the edge because that mirrors that too much. Oh, you could go sideways. No. No, I'm going to go in the edge and mirror it. Who said I can't? I'm trying to keep cleaning the side of my glue, but then I go ahead and squash it down and push it up the edge again. Oops. I don't know why I'm telling you because you can probably see that, but yeah, I definitely love the scotch, the scotch glue compared to this. It glides on. So I've cancelled my Pritt Stick uh, Renew because I had like a subscription that renewed. Cancelled that. And I think I told you yesterday. I know that's the same, but I quite like it on there. Let's see. Where's my pile gone? All that. Uh, that I'd ordered a lot of scotch. I think I ordered, I think it was 20. 20 in the pack, which was so much, you know, an awful lot cheaper than buying it in the twos and the fours. You expect when you buy in bulk, don't you, to get them cheaper, but I think they obviously want you to buy them in bulk because they were ridiculously expensive for a a two pack or a four pack compared to um, the 20 pack. Is it a 20 pack? I think it was a 20 pack. Oh, I've got terrible, terrible memory. Right. So you're going to look silly over there. See, so many animals there. I don't like that. Too many animals without their heads on. Um, might just save that butterfly in the middle. Not save it, I'm going to put it on here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not saving it. But I'm thinking, are you sitting down? Thinking I might throw this piece of paper out just because I can't abide headless animals. Yeah, even the butterfly's got its wings missing. I mean, in the scheme of things. <laughs> I don't throw very much out, so I shouldn't feel bad about that, should I? Yeah, we'll put them on somewhere in a minute, right. So, so we've done better than I thought. So we do need this chappy on somewhere. Maybe I should cut him in. I just didn't like him right above that. Yeah, with his feet above that. I know I'm daft. I can't help myself. <laughs> I didn't like him up there in midair, above the bird. I couldn't tell you why, I just didn't. <laughs> Sorry, you couldn't see me doing that, did you? And it was very effective. I was very quick and speedy. Oh, right. Look how long I've been on. I bet I've been on a while since so I've done three. Um, is that a piece hiding? Yes. Ooh. And it'll fit just here. Oh, that's a squeaky noise. Yeah, I think I might be needing to wipe my scissors over again. They're not too bad, but I don't want them to get as bad as they were when I didn't have any wipes. So maybe I'll do that. Give my desk a real good clean out. Wipe the scissors and the guillotine blade. Ready for a good start on the flower fairies in the morning. Yeah, so this one's going to go down here. That was handy that. I didn't know what I was going to put down there. So we're just going to fit nicely I think. Can we have a sideways on clock? No. It looks silly. I don't really like you over his horns either. I know I'm being a bit fussy now, aren't I? Okay. Oh, 
Oops, I think I might have done that a bit short. Oh, just made it and then I'll trim it off the top. Well, yeah, I'm pleased with the amount we got wiped up there, paper wise, because there was quite a bit of paper. But, oh no, higher up. That's it. I'll cut it off the top when it's dried a bit. Right, so the bits of paper I've got left are that, 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 so I'm going to pop him on there. It's big white space there, isn't there? I'll put a butterfly on it. I might even put that clock on it. Let's have a look. Um, I'll cut round it. I'll just do it as a... Hmm. No, nope, don't like it. So three, three little pieces. And there were little pieces thrown away. So not stored in a file, <laughs> not in my scrap box, they were even too small for that. Super. Really sorry, I get glue on my scissors. Oh, stick down. Stuck to me, get off. Right, so obviously I've still got, uh, these are so full on, I, I, you know, I did toy with the, with the idea of putting those on, but they just don't need any um, animal embellishing. Okay, so they're curling up a little bit, they need flattening, but actually, yeah, they are, they're full on and fussy, but I like them. I really like them. Um, I'm definitely going to make that big one into a journal cover. And then, like I say, the other two might find a way into the giveaway right so have i got time i think it might have to be another video yeah i think I'll, i want to get these mopped up as well um so i'll call that a video there so if you've enjoyed what i've done please give me a thumbs up or comment subscribe if you haven't i'd love to have you like i say i'm only two at the moment away from the three 300 subbies which is fabulous um but more than anything else, have a lovely, lovely day and I'd love to see you back again tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye bye.